Which pop queen could possibly debut with the role of Regina George, and which Marvel actor would be the perfect pick for Aaron Samuels? Keep watching to find out who we think would be the perfect role for the Mean Girls reboot. Janice Ian, Zendaya or Millie Bobby Brown? We're going to start with Janice Ian because she is the one who gives us the most iconic character introduction like ever. So our first pick would have to be Zendaya. We know she's talent embodied. She's now an Emmy Award winning actress. She's the one to keep things real, sprinkled with some heavy sarcasm on top, showing us this ever since her first role in Disney Channel's Shake It Up. She would absolutely nail this role. Our second pick for this role would be Millie Bobby Brown. Janice's style is very grunge and emo, but with some naughties added into it. And we already saw the sneak peek of Millie wearing this style in the second season of Stranger Things as the alternative bad girl Eleven. We'd love to see Millie Bobby Brown venture into this type of role. She already has so much work under her belt at just 16, so she would be perfect for this other high school stereotype. Damien Lee Brightman Rock, Jacob Batalone, Troy Sivan. Too gay to function, underlined in the burn book. We love Damien and his funny relationship with Janice all throughout the movie, but if we have to choose someone to portray him, it would be Brettman Rock. Dominating social media with 15.4 million Instagram followers and constantly being one of the funniest, sassiest people online, we know he'd bring some much needed spice to the movie. Our second pick would have to be Jacob Batalone. We love him as the funny sidekick Ned from Spider-Man movies, and we know he would shine in a big-budget reboot like this. He's just getting started, and this movie would be the right choice for him. And if we're bringing star-studded names, Troy Sivan would also be a great contender. He has loads of acting work under his belt. He starred in movies like Spud, X-Men Wolverine, and his latest movie, Boy Erased. And also, he has provided us with nothing but constant bangers for the past few years. We think Troy would suit this role because we know he'd bring something completely different to the table. He's also starred in Ariana's Thank You Next music video, so we already caught a glimpse of Mr. Troy Sivan in the Mean Girls universe, and we are so here for it. Mrs. Norbury, Kate McKinnon. We all know every school needs their own iconic teacher, and here it's Miss Norbury. Originally, the part was played by Tina Fey, but we know who would put their own brilliant spin on it in the reboot. That's right, Kate McKinnon. She has already appeared in many big blockbuster movies like Ghostbusters and Bombshell, and being the queen of comedy on Saturday Night Live, we think she'd be absolutely perfect for this role. She always makes us laugh, but also could be the voice of reason that the school desperately needs. It would be amazing if she was up for it. Aaron Samuels Ross Lynch, Tom Holland, Nick Robinson. Okay guys, it's time to let out a dreamy side, because we've arrived at the one and only Aaron Samuels. He was many people's first OG crush and blueprint for the hot and popular boy stereotype. And if there's someone who would fit the role like a glove, it would be Ross Lynch. Having worked with Disney at Austin and Alley and Teen Beach Movie, where we all fell for him, and recently with Netflix at Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, we're sure he would completely steal the spotlight with this one. Second candidate for this role would be Tom Holland. The picture-perfect boy next door who collectively stole our hearts as Spider-Man would make a swoon in this role. With his fresh looks, he would make the perfect Aaron. But realistically, after being Spider-Man and appearing in so many Marvel movies, Tom might be too big of a star. And you know who next would be up for a challenge? Nick Robinson. In Jurassic World and Love, Simon, he showed us a lot of potential, and he already has experience with big-budget movies. Even though he broke his personal rule of not playing high schoolers anymore for Love, Simon, we know this role is an exclusive opportunity we would love him to jump on. And we know he's got the looks for a perfect high school heartbreaker. Mrs. George, Kristen Wiig. She's not a regular mom, she's a cool mom. Mrs. George is such an iconic character and all her one-liners get us every single time. But if there's someone we want to see with a camera recording the Jingle Bell Rock performance, it would be Kristen Wiig. She has appeared in some big movies like Bridesmaids, Ghostbusters, and Wonder Woman 1984. So we think rather than a big challenge, this role would be a treat for her and she would have so much fun. She would be literally perfect for this role, since all her roles are quite awkward in that right, funny way, just like Mrs. George in the original movie. She's not afraid to make a fool of herself, as she proved many times on Saturday Night Live, and knows how to perfectly deliver a punchline and keep us laughing for hours. That's why she'd have to be our number one choice for this role. Karen Smith, Sabrina Carpenter, 
Sydney Sweeney. Introduced by Janice in the movie as the dumbest girl you'll ever meet, and originally played by Amanda Seyfried, she is the OG bimbo. Pretty, blonde, rich, and a little bit dumb with more heart than brain. For our pick, we would love to see Sabrina Carpenter in this role. Not only was she a Disney star on Girl Meets World, she's also a singer that keeps blessing us with tons of bops. She's a pretty big deal and this movie would be the next big thing for her. But if we're going for an actress that is just getting started on her industry domination, we have to choose Sydney Sweeney. She was such a sweetheart in Euphoria and we loved her role of Cassie. She has the perfect soft feminine looks for Karen and we think she'd be show-stopping in this role. Gretchen Wieners Lana Condor, Victoria Pedridi, Camila Mendez. Gretchen is like so fetch. Members of the Plastics and the main Gossip Girl, the movie would be terrible without her. It seemed like she knew everything and had ears everywhere. Our first choice would be Lana Condor. Lara Jean's adorable self grew increasingly close to our hearts in To All the Boys trilogy, and we need to see more of her, like immediately. She's an incredibly talented actress, and that's why this movie would show us another side of her that we haven't seen before. On the flip side, what about Victoria Pedridi? She shined in Netflix's hits You and both The Haunting of the Hills House and The Haunting of Bly Manor. We know this actress has got everything in her to make us scream and cry, but we would love to see her in this type of role in a good old teenage comedy. Maybe it would be a fun challenge for Victoria, if she'd be up for it. But if we're truly going back to the real teen drama, we need to consider Camila Mendez. Queen V all the way from Riverdale High would be the perfect rich member of the Plastics, and it would be very fetch to see her portray this character. Okay, after trying it out and giving it a chance, we have to agree with Regina. Gretchen. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Regina, Billie Eilish, Alexa Demi, Ariana Grande. Come on, even if you don't know Mean Girls and the plot of the movie, you 100% know Regina. Everyone knows the queen bee of the school. Our first contender for this role would be Ariana Grande. Before she started running the music industry and became the certified princess of pop with a Grammy on her shelf, she starred on Nickelodeon in the show Victorious as Cat. She has spent years on set, so she could definitely slay the role of Regina. Well, the ever-so-generous Ariana already gave us a tease of what it would look like if she was appearing in Mean Girls reboot. Just watch the music video for Thank You Next. She even made her own burn book. What an icon. And also in the music video for Seven Rings, we see her being the main rich girl with the mean vibe. Regina George also lives by the motto, I want it, I got it. It would leave us shook if she got back to acting, but a role like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. On the other hand, if we're thinking about someone big who runs the music industry, we gotta mention Billie Eilish. Did you know that everyone's favorite icon, Billie, actually tried auditioning in the past? I went on like two auditions, she spilled in an interview with Rolling Stone. And while she realized this thing might not be her forte, she still was part of the acting world. She discovered that recording background crowd scenes for movies was what she properly enjoyed. I did Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Ramona and Beezus, X-Men. Well, acting wasn't for her in the past, but maybe she has reconsidered her stance towards it in the past few years. The person to first mention her in the connection with the movie was actually an ex Mean Girls cast member, Tina Fey, who played Miss Norbury. She would like to see Billy as Janice, but we think the plot twist of seeing Billy play Regina would leave us all properly shook. If Billy wanted to start, the role of Regina would be a challenge, but knowing Billy, she would take the challenge and show us how it's done. It would be quite an epic debut. But if we're looking for a recent day Regina, a bossy mean girl in a recent teen show that showed us incredible potential, we're probably looking for none other than Miss Alexa Demi herself. If you don't have a crush on her after watching Euphoria, you probably need to watch it again. She kind of plays her own twisted version of Regina in the show, just more misunderstood than mean. We'd love to see her in the reboot because we know how she eats up the mean roles that have the right amount of attitude. And if the fashion is coming back with the reboot, we know she would absolutely wear the hell out of the outfits. Katie, Sadie Singh, Maitreyi Ramakrishnan, the star of the show, the protagonist. Poor Katie just arrived at a new school and wanted to fit in and got swarmed with the social clique hierarchy that can be just as overwhelming in real life. And if there's one person who would make the perfect Katie Heron, it's Sadie Singh. Yep, we're talking about the redhead queen herself. We all know this girl can act. She showed us everything and more in the past two seasons of the iconic Stranger Things as Max. And even before that, Sadie started her acting career on Broadway. 
she would body the role of the new girl trying to fit in with the popular girls. If Sadie was up for it and ready to sink her teeth into this role, we'd get to see a new acting layer of this young, talented icon. This role would be quite the game changer for her, but she's got what it takes. But also, it's 2021, and we're all about inclusivity. So our second pick would be Maitreyi Ramakrishnan. Maitreyi was chosen in Time's 100 Next list after just one big role, so it's safe to say that she has a huge career in front of her. It seems like she's ready to shake the industry and make it hers, and we are so here for it. She showed us incredible acting potential in Netflix's hit Never Have I Ever, and we all fell in love with her slight awkwardness that everyone can relate to. That's also why she would make the perfect Katie. Feeling a little bit alienated and awkward as part of the squad while trying to fit in, we know she'd eat up the role. After Never Have I Ever, we think this would be the next right step for her. What do you think? Did we nail the choices or was it an absolute flop? And what are your personal picks? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.